Excitement has been growing across Brazil as the country gets ready to welcome the world's football stars for the FIFA World Cup. But in the host city of Cuiabá, preparations have been overshadowed by corruption and delays to transport projects. And you don't have to look far beyond the congestion to gauge the growing sense of resentment on the streets. Like everything in Brazil, you know, uh, the, the government just let it to, for the last minute to try to fix everything, but it was not possible because of the delays. There are a lot of holes be, uh, in the streets, on the streets because of the constructions. How can I be happy with the World Cup? Over 700 million reais allocated for infrastructure improvements are reported to have gone missing in one of the largest corruption scandals Brazil has ever known. But Mayor Mauro Mendes continues to protest his innocence. Tem uma explicação e elas vão mostrar que não existe absolutamente nada de errado. One unlikely beneficiary of the World Cup, recently established Cuiabá Arsenal are an American football team that will occupy the 40,000-seater arena Pantanal. With ill-feeling around the city palpable, finally something to brighten local perception of the tournament. It's going to be great for this team to get that exposure, you know, um, to, to grow the name. It's going to be great for the city to put the city on the national stage, you know, and that's only going to be great because, you know, a lot of people in the city, they're going to want to come out and play. And, so you never know who you might find in the, in the trees down here. Or... But ultimately, Queer Bar's World Cup story is one that promised so much, but delivered so little. Rory O'Sullivan, Queer Bar.